you know, I see what I see. And a lot of what Dexter sees in this neighborhood off South Orange Blossom Trail looks ugly. Houses with clutter out front, trash piled up on commercial property near a bus stop, fences either out of code in the way they were built or simply falling apart. There are businesses like this gas station with trash against the walls, apartment complexes not cleaning debris away from dumpsters, and grass, really high grass, on neglected properties. It's sad, technically. Well, I mean, you know, try to help out the people. I mean, um, maybe there's an issue here. You know, maybe they, they need help. The owner of this house is facing thousands of dollars in fines, but tells me his family is struggling with medical bills. Have you explained that you've got medical issues and your yeah, son's got yeah, medical yeah, issues? I'm friends, I'm friends with them. We're having this issue tremendously in our neighborhoods. People don't want it. People call it in. County commissioners say they want neighborhoods cleaned up and got a promise from the code enforcement manager to add a special magistrate hearing each month to address complaints. So that extra capacity will at least help us get things to hearing quicker and apply those penalties quicker. Some commissioners say they also want enforcement of the payment of fines. Most often cases are settled with fines lowered or waived in exchange for cleaning up properties. I think what we're talking about is those habitual offenders, mm -hmm. and those are the ones that we need to see how we can tweak our uh, enforcement uh, policies. Blossom Park is one big property that had big problems that were addressed in complaints to code enforcement. And as you can see now, it is fenced off, but also continues to have problems like this. The complaints to code enforcement and how to handle it, perhaps with changes, will be addressed in a workshop in the early part of the year. In Orange County, Greg Fox, Washington News.